Hi guys, so this is our uh, today's design and this is a snow leopard kind of design. Um, it's fairly easy to do and I'll show you how to do it. Uh, first of all I've of course applied my base coat and a base color and this is this uh, sheer shimmery white polish. And now uh, we need a silver one, light silver and our sponge of course again yeah I know you're probably bored with my sponge mm, designs but still um, we apply the polish onto the sponge and onto our nail just like this um, I'm going to put on a bit more and apply. Of course you can clean your cuticles up in a moment. Okay, so this is it and I'm going to wait for it to dry. Okay, and I forgot to show you in the beginning of the design that this is what it inspired it and this is a top I got from Mango. Uh, so that was the inspiration. Uh, okay, now it's dry. We need a darker silver polish and again the sponge and the thing is the same as always so a bit of the polish on the sponge and onto our nail right so here we have it and we have to wait for it to dry completely okay what we need now is a medium sized dotting tool uh, and a dark grey solid um, cream colour and I'm going to put some of it on a piece of paper and dip the darting tool into it and I'm going to start to uh, make those shapes the inner kind of shapes uh, for the uh, leopard design and these are just you know some elongated shapes just actually really random okay right so that's that's going to be enough and now I'm going to wait for it to dry again but now we need this very fine the smallest darting tool and I'll put the link to the site where I got these and when you, where you can get it. Uh, so this tiny darting tool and a black polish um, and I'm going to put something on a pe uh, some, some of it on a piece of paper again and dip the fine little darting tool and start outlining the uh, shapes that I've made and this is again um, quite random, all of them are different and mm, the thing is that you should not encase uh, like the entire uh, dot so just parts of it Just like uh, two sides. Just like this. It may take a lot of time, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Because, well, um, if it isn't perfect, it looks even better because it looks, it looks more uh, like natural, right? I'll have to reapply the polish. I took too little of it. Um, right. So as you see, it's it's not hard at all. But all you need, you know, is um, some kind of tool to do it. 
and uh, I think that um, even a toothpick would be fine um, but since I've got those then well it's easier for me uh, to do it uh, with the uh, darting tool okay so you've kind of outlined, outlined them and now uh, just in between I'm going to play place some random um, lines, elongated spots um, for it to look more natural okay maybe one more here okay so now uh, that this is done we have to wait for it to dry again and now that it's dry I wouldn't be myself if I didn't put on some glitter <laughs> so a very delicate uh, glitter and this is of course optional you know but I love glitter and well I needed some sparkle um, so this is very very delicate it's not you know there's not too much of it um, so it just gives you and remember to seal the free edge <laughs> This is important if you want to have healthy long nails. Okay, so the shimmer is on. Uh, well, the last thing is, of course, your favorite top coat for the design to stay. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and try it out with your favorite colors because this doesn't have to look that way exactly. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it and, well, uh, see you next time. Bye, guys.